So I just my KPFC while I'm here. I'm here. I'm I never had a Viewers, praise the Lord. Uh, so this is Tenduet, uh, the house of our, our grandmother, who is one of our church members. And uh, we were shown by one of our reverend, Ruben Keter and Pastor Mrs. Mativo, the clip of the condition where this mama is li how this mama is living. And the uh, church in Kericho town, we were so moved. And that's why we decided to take a step with my brothers here to come and see her condition. Then we have discovered surely that this mama is somehow suffering so much. As you can see, this is the, the condition of the house. Uh, the house was connected with electricity. I heard that the PS or the CS himself was here to install this electricity. So we sympathize with this mama because this electricity with a pathetic house like this can cause electrical shot and it can burn this house and even burn the lives of the people inside. So that's why we have uh, decided to come and see. And today we are going to start to build a house officially for this mama uh, because that is the work we have been doing. I believe this one will be the seventh house uh, that we've been building for people who are living in such condition. So we thank God. Uh, we are going to check now, or we are going to see the place where we should start the project of building a good house for Mama in Jesus' name. So now, few us, we are moving to where the land of Mama, the exact place where she was allocated the land, she has no house there. So we are moving to that area to go and check the place where we can uh, build the house. So we thank God. Amen. Viewers and brethren, this is the place now where Mama was allocated. This is a share that she was given to. The house you see behind me is the house of a son who was divorced with a wife and the place is outdated. So we have decided to come and construct the house for Mama here. So this is the place Mama where says that we should construct, construct a house. So we are going to start construction immediately in this place. The land, according to my view, is about one and a half acres, which she was uh, given a share. So uh, we are going to begin the work immediately. We are praying that your support and your prayer will be so important so that we can do this work. And I believe this is the work which God uh, ordained us as men of God to do and the servants of the Lord, to see the tears of the needy. because. Uh, in the book of James, the Bible says uh, the, the real religion is the religion that takes care of widows and orphans. And this is a widow. And she's now too old. So we want to do what the scripture says because sometimes we take it as so important to go and preach in the church than visiting the needy people. So we are going to do what is in the Bible and we believe your support uh, is, so, is so important. And your prayer. So we thank God for giving us such an opportunity to do this work. It is a great grace 
to be in a position to give than to receive. So this is the time that we are going to show our love because we believe that as the prophet of the Lord, uh, prophet T.B. Joshua says that let the love lead. So we are going to demonstrate our love by constructing the house for this old mama so that she can live well because we saw she was living so pathetic according to the first clip you watch she's covering herself with the sacks she's sleeping on the ground so that is our prayer that if god will help us we need to know so many people who are living in this kind of life and we shall do what we can do to help them so we thank god and we bless the name of the lord god bless you viewers we want to begin the work together in jesus name amen Thank you.